Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, in my previous video about this uh, problem that people do encounter while trying to install the Oracle Database 11G Express Edition, you will come to a stage whereby you will have this problem. Checking for Oracle XE service ins instance failed. I made a video previously suggesting what you should do, but I just discovered that to some people that my solution, you know, is not effective, but it is effective to some other group of people as well. So le let me show you what I previously suggested in my, you know, previous video. So when you have this issue, it means that you have, there is already an Oracle XE on your system that you need to go delete that before you can, you know, install this 11G successfully. So look at what I suggested previously. Have a look. Go down here and type program. That will take you to app or remove, no, add or remove uh, programs. Just go click add or remove programs. Click on that. That will take you here, as you can see. So go to this search bar and type Oracle, Oracle. As you can see, I have this Oracle database. Maybe you previously installed um, Oracle database 18C or a similar database. What we have to do is to go right click and uninstall. Click and uninstall. But if you are not able to see this or any of the databases here, if you're not able to see any, there is another way to do this. And that is why I decided to make this video. But before we continue, if this current solution works for you, please, I have a request. Kindly, the only thank you I need from you is to click on that red subscribe button below your screen on the right hand side. You will see that red subscribe button. Click on that red subscribe button, support the channel, like the video, and equally, there will be a notification bell beside the red subscribe button. Click on that, activate that so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified to come check it out because I will be uploading more videos on SQL. So let's go into the solution. So if you don't have that here, if you don't have any of the databases here, what you have to do is to um, go here. Let me check and type run. Then open the run. In the bar, type services.msc, services.msc, and then click OK. It will take a while. Let's just wait to open. So here, go look for Oracle Service XE. In my own case, you can see I have Oracle Service XE. Look at it here. As you can see, just right click and stop it. Right, if it is running, as you can see in my own case, it's running. Right click and stop it. Then the next thing to do now is to go get your command prompt. So here, type in cmd, it will give you this command prompt option. Just go run as administrator run as administrator either you right click and run as administrator or you can go here as you can see run as administrator yes yes just click on click yes i decided to say no because i opened that twice for the other part so click yes and then it will take you here what you have to do here now is i have already 
I have a copy of what you should do. Just S C delete Oracle Service XE. I will copy it, then paste it here. I don't want to delete mine, so that is why I will not hit enter. So after typing S E S C delete Oracle Service XE, click enter, and that way solve the problem if that works for you please kindly comment on the comment section let me know that it worked for you please for the sake of others who might be you know you know looking for this video if the, if it it worked let me know that it worked comment on the comment section down below and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to support the channel to motivate me for more videos thank you for watching and God bless.